Welcome to the Living Your Greatness podcast. I am your host, Ben Mummy. The purpose of the podcast is to inspire millions of people across the world to achieve greatness and enhance their overall personal well-being. Living Your Greatness is becoming the go-to resource that CEOs, elite athletes, professional coaches, and entrepreneurs rely on to upgrade themselves. The podcast helps you master the best of what other people have already figured out. So I gladly invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy tuning in to today's episode. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Living Your Greatness. This is your host, Ben Mummy. In each solo episode, you will receive valuable knowledge, wisdom, and life lessons. The goal is to equip you with mindset strategies, tactics, and tools to help you live a great life. So thank you for being here. I desire to become one of your greatest mentors. The topic that we will discuss in today's solo episode is five writing prompts for a transformative new year. Roy Bowmeister once said, in the present, the past is more knowledgeable than the future, but people think far more about the future than the past. Both facts derive from the principle that the future can be changed, whereas the past cannot. When the new year comes around the corner, we are more inclined to ask ourselves and others about our new year's resolutions. Instead of questioning, what lessons did we learn this year? In other words, we prospect before introspecting. Pragmatic prospection is the process through which one thinks about the future by imagining what one wants to happen while also considering the obstacles, so as to map out and guide the actions that would bring about desirable outcomes. The problem is when we prospect before first introspecting, when we plan for what's ahead before reflecting on what has already passed, we're doing ourselves an enormous disfavor by not allowing ourselves to process our emotions and thoughts. Meg Wheatley once said, without reflection, we go blindly on our way, creating more unintended consequences and failing to achieve anything useful. Introspection is a process that involves looking inward to examine one's own thoughts and emotions. This is also known as experimental self-observation. The term was used to describe a research technique that was first developed by a psychologist, Wilhelm Wundt, which involved training people to carefully and objectively analyze the content of their own thoughts. That's exactly why the best thing that you could do for yourself around this time of the year is to create comfortable space to sit in, put on some relaxing music, prepare yourself for a hot beverage, and let go of all expectations, and journal through some introspective and perspective questions. The idea is actually really simple. Prepare and plan for the year ahead by first working through and assessing the one that just passed. By reflecting on the year, you surface your successes, sorrows, and behaviors and thought patterns that held you back. By planning for the year ahead, you step into it with full confidence, along with the knowledge that you're much more intentional about your life and in control of it. So I now want to share with you five valuable writing prompts that I believe will help you have a transformative new year. The first writing prompt is, what is one area in my life where I made a real tangible progress this year? There's a reason why criticism often has a much greater impact on us than compliments and why bad news frequently draws more of our attention than good. And this is because of our negativity bias. It's our tendency to register negative stimuli first. So I want you to reflect and think, in a year of confusion of ups and downs, what's one thing that went well? What's one area in your life where you made a real tangible progress? The purpose of this question is twofold. First, it's to get you to positively frame your way of thinking. And second, it's to remind you that going forward, when you actively track your progress, you keep yourself motivated while also allowing yourself to see your evolution unfolding before your eyes. Now, I want to share with you an example. For me, the biggest progress that manifested in my last year is my writing. I learned how to build myself a system that allowed me to become a prolific writer and also deliver consistently. The second writing prompt is, Who are the three people whose friendships I appreciate most this year? What makes life so special? It's the people. It's always, always the people. Life is worth living when it's filled with people we love and we care for. Whether it be family, childhood friends, or recently formed friendships, we all have people who play important roles in our lives. Some connections temporarily fade out of our lives as we take different paths to enter unfamiliar stages. 
Other friendships unexpectedly reemerge to forge deeper bonds. Whoever the three people whose love, concern, support, or humor and light spirit you appreciate most this year, I urge you to reach out and write them. Just say thanks and express your gratitude. They deserve the biggest thank you for adding more to your life than taking it away from it. And it will mean the world to them if you simply extend a gesture of kindness by letting them know. The third writing prompt is, what were the biggest struggles I faced this year? What were the biggest lessons they taught me? I really believe that our struggles shape us into who we are and teach us the most powerful lessons in life. We uncover what matters most to us. We learn more about ourselves. We discover how to respond to challenges and misfortune. We determine what we're truly made of. And sometimes we end up finding out who our genuine friends are. It's our struggles that forge our character. As the Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This is a really powerful quote. What new lessons did your struggles teach you? My struggles in 2022 taught me these three things. Number one, when you consciously remind yourself to submit to the flow of life, to take it one day at a time and to focus solely on what you can control, you automatically conserve your mental and emotional energy and everything around you becomes easier to deal with. Number two, life is abundant. When one door closes, another one always opens. Your single purpose is to believe that as you toil in the language of labor and service, and as you walk the path in conviction, the path will begin to appear and the way to your door will naturally reveal itself to you. Number three, every action you take is born from a place of fear or love. Live from a fear-based system and you will experience the limitations of hate, arrogance, insecurity, and greed. But if you live from a love-based system, you will discover an abundance of courage, confidence, fortitude, and generosity. The fourth writing prompt is, what do I want my one-word intention to be next year? How can I manifest it in my everyday life? An intention is a guiding principle for who you want to be and how you want to act, live, and show up in this world. Whether at work, in relationships, during your creative pursuits, or in any areas of your life, an intention serves as an internal compass. It offers a sense of clarity and helps guide your actions as you move throughout the days of the year. Your yearly intention is what guides you forward along with your journey toward your vision. This one word intention comes within and answers the overall question, what do I want my ultimate purpose to be this year? The answer to this question is the sole holistic direction in which you will focus your energy throughout the year. This one word intention will then create an overarching alignment between the goals you will tackle, the actions you will take, and the opportunities you will consider accepting and likewise declining. The fifth writing prompt is, what are the three things I want to achieve the most in the coming year and how can I build myself a system that would allow myself to achieve it? Decide on three goals you will work toward this year. These three goals will serve as the top three priorities of your year. Once you've outlined them, the next step is to build a system that would facilitate their achievements because goals alone without a scaffold to around them are nothing more than ideas in thin air. As James Clear, one of my favorite authors of best-selling book, Atomic Habits, famously puts it, you do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. A system is a set of tools, routines, and rituals designed to make it easy for you to regularly repeat the necessary tasks that will help you accomplish your goals. And the secret to building a great system is to focus on small, consistent wins. So after you write down your three goals, follow these three steps to build yourself a system. Number one, identify and list all the tasks that need to be done. Number two, create a workflow for these tasks and specific deadlines. Number three, track your main habit to measure your progress. So I really hope as you now take the time to reflect and think about your New Year's resolutions, that you take time to think about these five writing prompts that I believe will add value and help you thrive in your life. I really hope this whole episode has added some value and some perspective to your life. If you enjoyed listening to my podcast, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. By doing so, it will give you unlimited access to more podcast episodes to come. And I also encourage you to share this episode with a friend who you think it could really benefit. Now, before I sign off today, I want to end off this podcast by wishing you to keep living your greatness. Have a wonderful day. Much love, Ben. (music) 
Thank you for listening to the Living Your Greatness podcast. If this show has added some value, don't be shy to subscribe, leave a rating, and make a review.